So, once all of this is working, you can start stepping into all those variations of the three beat weaves that we talked about in the video that we haven't filmed yet, but we will soon. So once it's smooth and you can, you're able to go forwards and backwards in either hand, you can start playing with switching positions, which is where it gets really fun. It's kind of the beauty of this whole pattern. The first thing is to see where the openings are. And basically when the pulley cross uh, to one side, it's your opening to go to the other. So as I'm crossing away from the river with the poi, so the poi go away from the river, that's my opportunity to step to the river side of Karen. So there's my opening, and what is this? There's my opening, and there I step, and then we're in a three beat weave. And as long as you practice the three beat weaves, it'll, it'll come after a few tries. And again, as the poi go away from the river, I can step back out and we're back where we started. If I want to step to the other side of her, I wait for the poi to go to the river. So as it's crossing under, as it's crossing to the river, on the next one, it crosses to the river. She just finishes the beat she was on and then we're in a three beat weave again. And once again, as the poi cross to the river, I step over. Right, so you always just wait for the poi to be in the, and you have to do it immediately. So it's really as my poi is going away from the river, I'm already initiating my turn, and that gives us lots of time to get to here. And as the poi is crossing to the river, I'm already initiating the movement, so that gives me lots of time to get to here. Same thing, as my poi is crossing to the river, right away I just follow it and it's nice and slow and gives me lots of time to come into the position. It'll be as, as I'm crossing over away from the river, right when that happens, she can step around behind me and we'll go into a backwards weave. So maybe the next one after this and on this one. Awesome. Now that might be, is that the first time you ever did that? Yes! <laughs> right, and so now, as she's crossing away from the river, that's her opportunity to step back out. So on the next one, she steps back out, and right away she falls back into the pattern. It'll take a few tries, and it's all about knowing the patterns well enough that it's in your muscle memory. In which case, you don't have to, you can relax, and you'll fall into the pattern. So the trick, you just need to balance it out now. You have to start in the forwards position and the backwards position, right arm and left arm, and then pretty soon you can go through the full range where, say, at first I step in the Karen, say here, and we're in the forwards weave, then it can be Karen's turn, she can step out, and we'll have switched positions. So as she crosses away from the river, away, she steps out, and now we've completely changed positions. I'm forwards and she's backwards. So you want to get to a point where you can just, you can trade like this. You can take turns stepping in and stepping out. You can go through all the positions, and you want to make sure you do it right hand and left hand. And there's a whole bunch of other possibilities with this that we'll, you know, be adding more videos to later. And you can do right hand to left hand, you can add, you know, we can get, get the other poi involved, etc. But that gives you something to play with and it gives you something to share. So enjoy and we'll see you in the river.